This year, the North Sea Region Programme Annual Conference is here in Halmstad, in the province of Halland on the Swedish west coast. The theme is a better place to live, and the location couldn't be more fitting. A popular summer destination where tourists come to enjoy the beaches, scenery, golf courses and vibrant nightlife. The weather is beautiful today and Arno said what everyone was thinking this morning in the pre-conference session. I kind of feel like I'm back in school at 3 o'clock on a summer, summer's day and wondering if the teacher is going to say can we leave early to, to kind of enjoy it but uh, unfortunately the answer will be the same that, well, this is important for the future and for your future. The conference is an important date on the calendar for stakeholders to meet and discuss ongoing projects and future opportunities. We caught up with some of the delegates to see why they're here and what they're hoping to get out of the next few days. Well, what I'm hoping to get out of it for me is really uh, network op opportunities with people who are of a like mind, uh, particularly for my project SEAS, which is based around temporary re reuse of urban land that has been left vacant. I was interested to come to the conference to first uh, take part in the workshop discussions about the new programme period and then to also meet colleagues and for networking. So I'm interested in hearing what other countries think uh, we're all facing some difficult changes, savings, new economic context. It's interesting to see that um, many of the other regions in the North Sea are struggling with much of the same problems that we struggled with at home. Besides uh, presenting the result, as Stuart just mentioned, uh, to listen of the upcoming uh, seven years and to listen to, to other project partners and, and see what they are targeting and, and to, yeah, to network, literally. Albert and Simon from the province of Friesland in the Netherlands spotted something strange about the flags. We are about innovation and innovation is in one sentence is doing things differently. And I think this conference starts in the right way uh, because if you take a look at the flag, but Albert can explain, but they do it another way. When you look to the flag, you see the stars are not okay. I always explain a European flag has several stars and they always has two legs downstairs, so it stands so. But when you see that flag, it's turned upside down. But we will correct it, of course. <laughs> I would say welcome to the conference. Now it's eligible. Flags fixed and lunch behind us, the afternoon began with the opening session. As an alternative to a traditional plenary with speakers delivering presentations, participants were invited to discuss in an open environment where everyone can contribute, with moderators to keep the talks moving. The discussion format and incorporation of an electronic voting system made for a lively and interactive session. Questions and answers came thick and fast, with many contributions coming from the floor as well as invited speakers. Conversation and spirits were kept high throughout, even after public debate on the region's football teams. He's a football fan and he supports the same team as I do, Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. First of all, this is on the one red team, Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> after a quick coffee break, or fika as it's commonly known in Sweden, the delegates then separated into workshops for the rest of the afternoon, covering topics from renewable energy generation to food logistics and urban living. Many attendees came to this conference aiming to find a transnational approach for solving regional issues. We have different perspectives, we have different experiences, um, but that's like what joins us together and that becomes very clear at an event like this, I think. After the workshops, it was time to bring the day to a close and prepare for the networking dinner scheduled for this evening. We are planning to go to the dinner event tonight and tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. um, to really meet new people in a more relaxed environment and do a bit of dancing. <laughs> it's the end of the day. The warm sun and rigorous content took their toll, with some unable to resist the lure of Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm.